Hello, I'm Ruben from Class 7A, and in this video, I will be explaining the adaptation and growth of a pig. Enjoy. Now, before we get on to the adaptations of this little guy right here, I'm gonna give some interesting facts that you pigs as you can see here are actually the smartest domestic animal and are very intelligent they they are also considered more tameable than cats and dogs now fun facts over now we move on to the serious stuff as in their adaptation of course the first stage of a pig is called a piglet also known as a baby pig which is considering the materials this is what we will consider as a pig Piglets will go on to grow and become a young adult. Well, like any other animal or humans for that matter. Any year from 3 to 7 years is considered young, and any year after that is considered a senior age or an adult age for a pig. There are many, and I mean many, variations of pigs, but for this specific video, I guess we will stick to the common pig or a domestic pig. Now, moving on to adaptation, let's say pigs went onto a different place. Now, they can adapt very well, mainly because of their intelligence. They are very smart, as I said before, they are considered one of the smartest domestic animals ever. And they are very intelligent, so whatever, for example, this mud, this mud, this mud, this mud with it, you can roll around. Without it, still completely fine. Now, not only in their brains, but pigs also have the bronze. Now, what I mean by that, it, by that is, pigs can also not only adapt well because of their intelligence, but also their physical appearance. What I mean by that is that pigs have the long snout on their nostrils. That that make them that is that makes them able to smell things from very far away and smell them really well. And some pigs actually also have uh, have a good sense of hearing also, so they can smell where food is. They can hear if there's predators and etc. Now about pigs have pigs can eat absolutely almost anything so what they are uh, they can eat almost anything and that's possibly one of the main factors on their ability to, to adapt because they are omnivores which means they can eat both, both plants and animals so this food right here it can be either um, uh, plants or it can either be meat they can eat anything, which also plays a huge factor in their adaptation because some animals can only eat plants and therefore, as, yeah, some animals are only herbivores or carnivores, so they won't adapt very well because of because uh, they might not find the type of food that suits them in their specific habitat. Now, let's say this pig, let's say this pig is a grown-up pig. It is officially grown and is in a moving habitat. Now, obviously, in every single habitat, there will be a predator. And how do we support that? Well, pigs have somewhat of a exceptional speed. Their speed is very fast and can outrun many animals. So let's say this was a predator and he was chasing the pig. The pig would be able to run away within seconds and the predator would be left in the dust and he would be safe again. Now, not only speed, but pigs have options. Okay, they, are, they are a superior animal. They have second options. Now this not may show, but some pigs actually have tusks on on top of their nose or on the side to defend them from, from predators. So if for example they are approaching and the pigs can attack them with their tusks. So let's say there's a tusk here, it can go up and attack the animal. That is why pigs can adapt very well. Their speed also ranges very far too. They can go from anywhere, they can accelerate from anywhere to 10 kilometers an hour to 17 kilometers an hour. That is very fast considered, considering that pigs eat a lot 
and they have the tusks to carry, which is which is sort of a heavy weight on their on their like face. Pigs as well can also breed and meet pretty much anywhere you want them. So the average uh, the average like age for a pig to be able to breed is five months. So that is a very short amount of time to start reprodu reprodu reproducing and start finding ways habitat and start finding more uh, more places to live in and and which suits the best. Now after all of this they have lived a long while and, and they are ready to say goodbye to the world. Um, that is the growth and adaptation of pigs. Now I have just explained the adaptation and growth of pigs. Did you enjoy that video? Well, you can't tell me, but I hope you did because I took pretty much a, a bit of a long time. But um, thank you so much for watching this video, and yeah, see you.